Well, sign up viewers, if you've been watching the show for a few years, you might remember our reproductive specialist, Dr. Glenn Selk, and his recommendations when it came to body condition scores when it comes to calving. So Dave, why don't you talk a little bit about Glenn's recommendations and kind of overall the importance of that? Well, there's a lot of research done in that area, and it's very clear that, you know, if a cow calves, well, let's put it this way, when the condition a cow calves in, in other words, thin, moderate, or really fleshy, uh, has a really big influence on the postpartum interval and the amount of time it takes for her to start cycling again and then get, you know, get pregnant. Uh, that was the that was the main story, and you know you don't want to have a bunch of cows calving or going into calving season in thin condition. So talk a little bit about the body condition scores, and you know Glenn used to always recommend, I believe it was five to six, right? That was his recommendations. Yes, five. We we recommend a, a minimum of a five on a cow and a body condition score six on a heifer, which would be a little bit you know above a, a moderate condition score. So, uh, and that's because the first calf heifers are gonna have a longer postpartum interval if they calve as a two-year-old than a mature cow would have. And of course, that always has an impact on the bottom line for a producer, right? Oh, sure. You know, uh, the longer the postpartum interval, the longer it takes those cows to get bred, the later they'll calve the next season, probably the lighter the weaning weight. You know, just before we hopped on camera, you were telling me about a data set that's actually really unique in regards to body condition scores. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so I have a, a friend, a longtime friend. Uh, we have been talking quite a bit about cow efficiency on the phone uh, for quite a few years. His name is Dr. Matt Cherney. is recently retired, but Dr. Cherney worked for a large ranch in northwest Wyoming. Mm -hmm. In fact, this ranch had about 14,000 cows, so it was a huge operation, and he had the opportunity to to look at this relationship of body condition score to reproduction on that big set of cows. And he just has an incredible data set on that topic. And what he found, just like, you know, Dr. Selk had been telling us about for years, what he found was that if, a, if the cows that, that, that were in a body condition score three or less, really thin, mm -hmm. uh, had, had a, a pregnancy rate in the low 70s, mm. okay? Cows that averaged about a body condition score four had a pregnancy rate year in and year out of around 80, low 80s, okay? Yeah. Cows that calved in body condition score five, 92, 93% pregnancy rate. And then cows that calved in a six or greater, about 90, 94, 95%. So a little bit better, but not much. You get a really big bump from thin to moderately thin from a three or less to a four. You get another big bump from a four to a moderate condition score to a five, right? Mm. About another 10 percentage units. And then from there on, it doesn't really improve that much, a little bit, but it doesn't improve that much. So a tremendous impact on their body composition at calving on, on their you know, on their pregnancy rate. You know, that, you said that took place in Wyoming, you know, thinking here in Oklahoma and for like a lot of productions, when they have, you know, cows that might be, you know, in that kind of three to four, area, is that something that maybe they should just maybe think about calling and getting out of their herd? You know, that's that's a good way to look at it, I think, uh, rather than maybe separating them and manage them so, so they don't so they don't have reproductive failure. Let them fail. And and by doing so over time, you know, you're gradually selecting for fertility. And obviously there's a pretty strong connection or correlation between body condition and pregnancy rate. So yeah, if you, you know, if you, uh, first thing you should probably do if you need to call or you, or you should call the opens, mm -hmm. let's start with that. And then if you have the opportunity, maybe in a drought year where you need to back off on your stocking rate a little mm -hmm. bit, then maybe call those thin cows, even if they are pregnant, because they're, they're the ones that are most susceptible and telling you that maybe they're not a great match for so Dave, as always, a ton of great information. And if, if producers really want some help, they, OSU has tons of resources available to assist them through this. We do, you know, if they're not familiar with the body condition scoring system, we have a really nice fact sheet that, that walks through that, shows pictures of examples of each body condition score and so on. All right, thanks, Dave. Dr. Dave Lawman, OSU Extension Beef Cattle Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like a link to that fact sheet and the data set that Dave mentioned, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.